Hey, golfers, Jess Frank coming back to you again today. And I uh, just want to say thank you again for all the support and the subscribing to my channel. Really appreciate it. Today, I want to talk to you about how the stack and tilt system can help you hit the driver longer, higher, and straighter than any other system in the world. And that can make the game really easy and really fun. And something that I found when I started to to uh, change over to the stack and tilt system, what happened was that I just started, to, I gained probably 30, 40 yards on my driver. And it was the e easiest or much easier swing than what I was doing previously. And it also, amazingly enough, it stopped hurting my back. So the other swing I was using, my lower back, I was always in pain after I played. And now, actually, when I use the stack and tilt system swing, what happens is that I don't feel any pain in my lower back. So it's pretty cool. So let's get to it. So here's the driver here. I got my Callaway Epic Flash driver and my really cool For the Brave uh, head cover. So I'm going to throw that down. We're going to see, you know, basically what's going to happen here for you. I've got some alignment sticks as well. And, and the one thing that I, I saw for sure in the stack and tilt system in the swing here is that what I see most people do is when they hit a shot, they're going to turn. They're trying to turn their body. What I also see is I see them, they, they've been told to use a resistance model. So basically what a resistance model is, is that let's not let your lower body turn. Okay, let's keep this very stable and just turn against your lower body. So what happened was my by doing that by no turn of my lower body and my hips what happened was that my arm swing started to get really short my left arm started to bend the club started to pull into me and so i would just start to so the only way for me to get power would be to shift over to my right side here and then i'd hit i'd hit behind it it was just some like weirdly weird shots so when i switched over to stack and tilt what happened was, is I started to let my knees change flex. So down the line here, as I tilt back, left knee bends, right knee straightens. What does that do? That allows my hips to turn back, okay? So if I keep them flexed, I my hips don't turn. You can see this pocket right here, okay? So watch this here. If I keep my knees flexed, okay, and then I swing back and I don't turn... You can still see my pocket. Now watch this. See how my pocket went back and behind me here. So my hips have turned. My right leg is straightened. And then I'm able to make the club go up and around my body without it, without me turning down in flexion here. And, and if you look at Bubba Watson, who's the longest driver on tour pretty much, um, when he goes back, his back leg, he's a lefty, so it'd be his left leg, but for, for, this, uh, for this video, we're gonna do it for my way, he straightens his leg the most. So he straightens his leg the most, and you never hear of Bubba Watson being injured because he's not using the resistance model. So this is super, super important. So hitting the driver and gaining distance, basically what happens is that people always say, oh, well, you're hitting, you're hitting down too much with the driver. Well, I find that completely false because, in fact, a lot of the really good drivers of the golf ball, they do have downward hit with their driver. Now, they're not coming in super steep. They're coming in shallow with the club swinging around their body, and, and it's shallowing out, but it's still on the way down. And so what I was always trying to do is I was told to hit up on the ball. So I was always like, okay, keep the right knee in flexion, turn back here, swing up on it. And so there was no compression. There was nothing. It was a very weak shot. So hitting the driver in the stack and tilt system is very similar to, to everything else you're doing. So you're going like this here. So I'm extending, tilting, and turning my body. My hips turn. My arms go behind me. And it's very simple, so I'm not resisting. I'm not turning in flexion. So when I do that, I'm gonna be okay. And I go ahead and hit a shot. Let me tell you something, this is the first driver I've hit in over two months. And I just hit that thing about 270 down the middle. So that's what's awesome about Stack and Tilt. That gets me excited. That gets me excited about telling you about the system, about telling you how this can help your game. 
make it really simple. So again, just to kind of go back over what we were talking about. Number one, we're going to get rid of the resistance model. We're going to let our hips turn back. That's going to allow our extending, tilting, and turning. In fact, we're just going to extend and tilt. You don't even have to worry about turning. So extending and tilting from here and then back through the ball. So that's what I truly love about the system. That can help you immediately get back. I haven't, like I said, I haven't hit a driver in over two months since the whole, you know, Corona the thing happened. So that's, this is the first driver I hit. I ripped it down the middle. It's awesome. Really love it. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Please like and share um, every, every comment, every, sub, every time somebody subscribes, it helps grow my channel. So I really appreciate it. I can keep bringing you quality content. I'm really enjoying the interaction between uh, myself and, and, and you guys out there in, uh, in the YouTube world. Uh, so thanks again for participating and uh, I'll keep the videos coming. So have a great day and we'll see you soon.